Hello, everyone, and welcome to the MathDBase.com Anacast series. I'm your host, John Cassiadu. In this installment in the Calculus series, I will discuss Derivatives by Definition, Part 1, Algebraic Functions. Graphically, the derivative of a function f is the slope of the tangent line to the graph of f at each point. Specifically, at x sub 1, the derivative is the result of the process of calculating the slopes of the secant lines to f through f at x sub 1 and a sequence of secondary points as those points get closer to x sub 1. The horizontal distance between the first point x sub 1 and the second point x is typically written as x minus x sub 1, as h, or as delta x. The corresponding vertical distance, then, is typically written as f of x minus f of x sub 1, as f of x sub 1 plus h minus f of x sub 1, or as f of x sub 1 plus delta x minus f of x sub 1. The difference quotient, the ratio that represents the slope of the secant line 2f through x sub 1 and x, can have three different looking but equivalent forms. The first, using the x minus x sub 1 separation, the second using the h separation, and the third with delta x. Analytically, the derivative of the function f at x sub 1 is the limiting value of a difference quotient, which is the ratio of the difference in values of f evaluated at x sub 1 and x to the difference in x sub 1 and x as the difference in the value between x sub 1 and x becomes smaller and smaller. Calculating the derivative can be done systematically in five steps. First, state the function along with restrictions on its domain, if there are any. Second, find the value of the function at an arbitrary second point, which is separated from the first by an amount h or delta x in the independent variable. Third, find the difference in values of the function at the initial and second points, the vertical separation. And then fourth, find an expression for the difference quotient by dividing the value found in the third step by h or delta x. Fifth, calculate the value of the derivative of the function at the initial point by taking the limit of the difference quotient expression found in step 4. Let's calculate the derivative of f if f of x equals x. The derivative of a function is the slope of the tangent line to the graph of the function at each point. Graphically, f of x equals x represents a line with slope 1 passing through the origin. The tangent line to this or any line coincides with the line so we would expect the slope of the tangent line to this line to be the same as the slope of this line, namely 1. Let's show that it is. 1. Since the graph of f is a line, it is smooth at all points and has no points of discontinuity. 2. f evaluated at an arbitrary second point near x, h units away, is f of x plus h, which is equal to x plus h, which we get by replacing x with x plus h in the original expression for f. 3. The change in f, delta f, is the distance between the values of f at the initial and second points, which is x plus h minus x, or just h. 4. Forming the difference quotient by dividing the change in f by h, we get h over h, or just 1. 5. Finally, obtaining the derivative of f by taking the limit of the difference quotient as h goes to 0, we get the limit as h goes to 0 of 1, which is 1. So the derivative of f of x equals x is f prime of x equals 1, whose graph is also a line which passes through the y-axis at 1 and has a slope of 0. The value of the derivative function f prime at any point is equal to the slope of the tangent line to the original function f at any point, namely 1. 1. The function f of x equals x cubed is a polynomial, so it has a smooth graph with no discontinuities. Two f evaluated at an arbitrary second point near x, delta x units away, is f of x plus delta x, which is equal to x plus delta x quantity cubed. x plus delta x quantity cubed is a binomial expression that we can expand as x cubed plus 3x squared delta x plus 3x delta x squared plus delta x cubed. 3. The change in f, delta f, the distance between the values of f at the initial and second points, is f of x plus delta x minus f of x, which simplifies to 3x squared delta x plus 3x delta x squared plus delta x cubed. 4. Dividing delta f by delta x to form the difference quotient, we get 3x squared delta x plus 3x delta x squared plus delta x cubed over delta x. We can factor out a delta x in the numerator, cancel with the delta x in the denominator, and the difference quotient simplifies to 3x squared plus 3x delta x plus delta x squared. 
5. In the final step, we find the derivative of f by taking the limit of the expression in the last step as delta x goes to 0. The second and third terms vanish, and we are left with 3x squared. So f prime of x, or df dx, is equal to 3x squared. Calculating the slopes of tangent lines at various points. At x equals 1, the slope is 3 times 1 squared, or 3. At x equals 2, the slope is 3 times 2 squared, or 12. And at x equals negative 1.5, the slope is 3 times negative 1.5 squared, or 6.75. That the derivative of f involves the square of x, meaning that evaluating the derivative at any point will be non-negative, is consistent with the graph of x cubed, which is always increasing except at the origin, where there's a point of inflection and the slope is 0. As a last example, let's look at the radical function f of x equals the cube root of x, which can also be written as x to the one-third. 1. The graph of the cube root of x is smooth, has no restrictions on its domain, and there are no discontinuities. 2. Evaluating f at an arbitrary second point near x, h units away, we get f of x plus h, which is equal to x plus h to the one-third. 3. The change in f, delta f, is f of x plus h minus f of x, or delta f is equal to x plus h to the one-third minus x to the one-third. Four, forming the difference quotient by dividing delta f by h, we get delta f over h is equal to x plus h to the one-third minus x to the one-third all over h. If we make the substitution u equals x plus h, then h is equal to u minus x, and we can write the difference quotient as u to the one-third minus x to the one-third over u minus x. We can write the denominator in factored form as the product of u to the one-third minus x to the one-third multiplying u to the two-thirds plus u to the one-third times x to the one-third plus x to the two-thirds, and then rewrite the difference quotient as u to the one-third minus x to the one-third over that last product. Here we can cancel the common factor u to the one-third minus x to the one-third and we are left with delta f over h is equal to 1 over u to the 2 thirds plus u to the 1 third times x to the 1 third plus x to the 2 thirds, or 1 over x plus h to the 2 thirds plus x plus h to the 1 third times x to the 1 third plus x to the 2 thirds, when we switch back to the original notation. 5. Finally, we get the derivative by taking the limit of delta f over h as h goes to 0. The h's vanish from the first and second terms in the denominator, and we can simplify it to 1 over 3 times x to the 2 thirds, or 1 over 3 times the cubed root of x squared in radical form. Because x is squared in the expression for f prime, all derivatives of f will be non-negative, which is consistent with the almost everywhere positive slope shape of the curve. Looking at the expression for f prime, we can see that there is going to be some drama when x is equal to 0. Though the graph of f is continuous everywhere, the limit as x goes to 0 of the absolute value of f prime, or the limit as x goes to 0 of 1 over 3 times the cubed root of x squared is infinite, so f has a vertical tangent line at the origin.